Hello everyone, today is January the 23rd of 2019. I'm Pastor Frank Tamora here at the BibleProphecyMan.com site. This is the prophecy site that I have, one of two. The other one is the EndTimesResearchMinistry.com, which you can get my documentary, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, today for free, just by going over to my website, either Bible Prophecy Man or the other one, End Times Research Ministry. Just scroll down. You'll see the link there. I just updated the book, and it has the latest information concerning the signs that we're supposed to be watching for that would show us how close the Messiah is for his second coming. Now, speaking about the second coming and the signs that the Lord gave to us, I want to bring to your attention an article from Israel, and it talks about how a leading rabbi in Israel is saying that the Messiah is coming, and I'm going to show you when that is, give you the information. First of all, let me show you the title of this report and where it came from. Then I'm going to allow you to listen to it. I recorded it for you so that you don't have to read it. You can just listen to the recording. And then I'm going to come back and make the connection between what the Lord showed us about the last times and what this rabbi said. This news came out yesterday, the 22nd of January 2019, breaking Israel news, and the headline, Rabbi, Messiah began on Sunday, will appear on Prim, and will finish with Israeli elections. So let's scroll down and see what this article had to say. Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky, one of the most prominent rabbis of this generation, made a shocking statement, claiming that the Messiah will precede the upcoming Israeli elections. Several rabbis noted that the writing is on the wall and the signs that the process leading up to the Messiah has already begun. For those who have the eyes to see it, Rabbi Yekadil Fish, an expert in Kabbalah Jewish mysticism, gave a lesson this week in which he discussed how the Messiah was imminent. Rabbi Fish cited Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky, one of the most prominent Haredi, ultra-Orthodox rabbis of this generation, who began foretelling the arrival of the Messiah just a few years ago. It is written that in the days leading up to the Messiah, Zadokim, righteous men, will begin to announce his arrival, but some people, those who have not prepared for his arrival, will laugh at the righteous and the learned. Rabbi Fish said, warning that it is forbidden to mock the righteous. Fish emphasized that Konievsky was especially suited for presaging the arrival of the Messiah. Not only is Rabbi Konievsky one of the most learned and righteous Jews alive today, there is another indication of his connection to the Moshiach, Messiah. Rabbi Konievsky's full given name is Shmar Yahu Yosef Chaim Ben, the son of Miriam. Rabbi Fish noted that first letters of each of Rabbi Konieski's Hebrew names can be rearranged to spell Moshiach. Rabbi Fish related a story that is just now being told within Haredi circles in Israel. A young Torah scholar from outside of Israel was hosted for the Sabbath a few weeks ago at the house of a follower of Rabbi Konievsky. The young man visited Konievsky during the Sabbath. He asked the rabbi if he should apply for Israeli citizenship in order to vote for the Haredi party in the Israeli elections being held on April 9th. There is no need, Rabbi Konievsky answered. The Messiah will already be here before the elections. Rabbi Fish emphasized the need for Rabbi Konievsky to make such statements. People need to act in practical manners to prepare for the Messiah, not just speak about it, Rabbi Fish told Breaking Israel News. Rabbi Konievsky is calling for all religious Jews and all Jews in general to come together to show unity, not just for the Israeli elections or national interests. Our ultimate goal as a nation is to bring the Messiah and we need to be united to actually love one another to do this. Rabbi pinches Winston, an expert on Jewish sources concerning the Messiah, normally issues predictions of the Messiah's arrival based on a precise date but notes that such a statement made by a scholar and righteous Jew of Rabbi Konieski's stature needed to be related to, in a different manner. You should know that Jews who live in a Messiah awareness take these predictions seriously.
Israeli, Rabbi Winston told Breaking Israel News. People who haven't been trained properly to see this, can't see it. They won't see it even when it is happening in front of our eyes. Winston noted that the paradigm for this ability to see the redemption was implicit in the story of the exodus from Egypt. Moses was walking around for 79 years and when he revealed himself, so many people, Jews and Egyptians, were surprised. Winston noted that many people cannot see the beginnings of the Messiah as they are actually appearing because they have been taught that redemption has never happened. The modern state of Israel is the second time the Jews have come back to Israel. Rabbi Winston noted, there have already been two Jewish temples in Jerusalem. People who are not educated or living in a Messiah context don't relate to this so they can't see it as a possibility even while it is happening. Rabbi Winston applied this concept to modern history. The Holocaust never happened until it did, Rabbi Winston said. So the Jews were surprised by it even though it was building up for years. Today, people learn about the Holocaust as if it could never happen again so even after the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh and the election of openly anti-Semitic politicians. They insist it cannot happen again. God can be speaking right at you, saying the Messiah is right in front of you. But if you refuse to hear, you won't. Winston explained. Rabbi Fish agreed, emphasizing that prophetic predictions could materialize while going unnoticed. Eight days ago, Rabbi Fish predicted that the blood moon lunar eclipse that passed over the continental U.S. on Sunday would be a significant omen, even more so because it coincided with the Jewish holiday of Tu Bishvat, in fact, an unprecedented daylight airstrike by the Israeli Air Force against Iranian military targets in southern Syria on Sunday led to an intensification of the conflict. An Iranian general declared that his forces were prepared to destroy Israel and the Israeli intelligence minister referred to the situation as an open confrontation with Iran. It is true that Rabbi Konievsky has been saying the Moshiach is imminent for a few years, but that is not really very long when we are speaking about the Messiah, Rabbi Fish said, and every time. Rabbi Konievsky speaks in different terms, describing a different aspect of the process. He added, The Messiah is already active in the world but not everyone is willing to see this, Fish said. Some people are unwilling to see this no matter what proof is presented. If the conflict with Syria develops, it will become clear that the process of the Messiah began on two Bishvat. Now I'm going to pause the reading right here just for a second just to let you know what is Tuva Shat. Tuva Shat was a celebration of the trees. It's observed on the 15th day of the 11th month of the Jewish calendar Shavat. Each fruit of the feast has its own individual blessing because of its significance in Israel, where Bitu Shavat is a day of ecological awareness. And if you know anything about the nation of Israel, They've planted millions and millions of trees since becoming a nation in 1948, which also fulfills an Old Testament prophecy about Israel's restoration as a nation again and the trees and the fruit that those trees would be bringing. So let's continue now with the article. Rabbi Fish emphasized that the upcoming Israeli elections are the result of a political divide that may prove to be irreconcilable. This could be the end of the Israeli government as we know it, Fish said. The conflict is over the law concerning the draft. The Supreme Court gave them three months to solve this. After that, no one knows what will happen. The only solution is unity, he maintained. Not the appearance of unity for political purposes, but a sincere and deep unity of the Jewish people. The last time we stood together as a nation was in the days of the Temple. If this political crisis or the military crisis brings us together, the result could be the Messiah. Rabbi Konievsky's statement was also discussed by Rabbi Matit Yahu Glazerson, an expert in Torah codes in a recent video. Using a Torah program that searches for equidistant letter sequences in the 
Bible, Rabbi Glazerson did a search for relevant expressions concerning Konieski's announcement. He noted that the term YBWMSI, the Messiah will come, appears once in Leviticus chapter 23 adjacent to the letters T signifying the current Hebrew year, 5779. The rabbi also noted that included in the table was the word Emprim from Purim. The holiday of Purim will fall on March 21st this year, three and a half weeks before the Israeli election. So also included in the table is the word super penance and mute belief. Teshuva and belief are what bring the Messiah, Rabbi Glazerson said. Even in the times that are suited for the Messiah to come, without Teshuva, there can be no Messiah. And faith is what leads to Israel being redeemed. Now the first thing that I want to do is go back to the headline where it talks about this Christ would be appearing on Prim. And I know that there are a lot of people who don't know when Prim is, or for that matter, what it even means. So to begin with, what is Prim? Which literally means lots. It is a holiday in which the Jews commemorate being saved from persecution in the ancient Persian Empire. And if you want the full disclosure about what happened, with Esther, go back and read the Old Testament portion of the book of Esther. It'll give you all that information. The bottom line is the Jews were on their way to being killed off, and God stepped in by using Esther, and they dodged the persecution. Now, when does it take place in 2019, considering the fact that this leading rabbi in Israel said that it was going to happen in Prim, the celebration? And in 2019, it begins Wednesday, March 20th at sunset, and it ends on Thursday, March 21st at nightfall. So essentially, when you look at the headline of what this rabbi was saying, he's saying the Messiah is going to be here between those dates. Now, we've heard many, many people in the past saying that the Messiah was coming. We've seen many, many people, religious people and all different kinds of religions, talk about the dates that the Messiah would be coming back. And there's been warnings, specific warnings by Jesus Christ about these things that were going to take place, announcing the Messiah was coming, a date and when the Messiah was coming. And so we need to be diligent of knowing what Jesus Christ warned about in the last days and what we're seeing. What you're looking at is scripture from Matthew chapter 24. Take a look at verse 11. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Now as we go down further into the same text, look what Jesus warned again. And we're going to start here in verse 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. In other words, Jesus has given us in other parts of the scripture exactly how he's going to come back. He's going to be coming back in the clouds the same way that he was taken up when you read the book of Acts. When the disciples were watching Jesus go up in the clouds when he was going into heaven and there was two angels and they said men of Galilee what are you looking at and this same Jesus who was taken in a cloud is going to be coming back in the same way so we know exactly how Jesus Christ is going to come back we also know that Jesus Christ told us that he isn't going to come back until the end of the tribulation period which hasn't even started yet so knowing that fact right there that there's still a period of seven years of that tribulation period, which hasn't even begun yet, there's no possible way that a Messiah can show up on Prim unless it is a false Messiah. And that's exactly what we're expecting. And I can't tell you if it's going to be on Prim or when. We do know that Christ told us that these false Christ would come. So whether it's on Prim based on what this rabbi is saying or another day it really doesn't matter they're going to be false christ and you only can get bad things happening from false christ we've seen this in the past with all these different people who claim to be jesus christ 
Now this leading rabbi, when you read the article, and I already showed it to you, they're talking about how they had the, the first two temples. And we've been seeing all types of news coming out of Israel where the Jews are actually getting ready to build the third temple. And they've already gotten all the artifacts, they've trained the priests, they've been practicing the sacrifices. The only thing that they don't have yet is the actual building of the temple. And I believe that this rabbi is alluding to the fact that the Messiah is coming and that third temple will be built. And, of course, all that would do is fulfill prophecy that Jesus talked about, that the third temple was going to be coming, and Jesus already referred to back to Daniel the prophet, where Daniel tells us that this man, when he comes, this Antichrist man, he's going to make a covenant with Israel and many nations for a period of seven years, and then break that covenant in the middle of the seven years. In other words, a false messiah. That the Jews, by the way, are going to think that it's their Messiah. So, in eventuality, what's going to happen is what this rabbi is essentially showing or warning about is the fact that a Messiah is coming, but in reality, he's not going to be the true Messiah. It's not going to be Jesus Christ, the true Messiah, who the Jews don't recognize. But later on, Zechariah also tells us in the Old Testament that the Jews will recognize who Jesus really is. And we know when that's going to happen because it's going to happen during the tribulation period when they have to flee out of Israel, like from the warning from Jesus Christ. Again, read the whole book of Matthew, chapter 24. So if you know the events that Jesus Christ warned about and you're watching the news, you can actually decipher what is true and what isn't what is going to happen that will fulfill prophecy, and in this case, a coming false messiah. And of course, if it doesn't happen on Prim, as the dates that I just showed you in March, then he would be a false prophet because he's given a date. So if anything, we should all be watching that specific March date between the 20th and the 21st and see if this is a false prophecy. Now keep in mind, even if it did happen, we are expecting a antichrist false god to show up. And boy, trust me, in these last days, you can't discount anything. But we do know for sure, Jesus Christ will be coming physically at the end of the tribulation period. And because it didn't start yet, there's no way he can show up coming from the clouds on March 20th or the 21st. It would have to be a false Christ that showed up in Israel. Now if the headline alone didn't convince you that he was talking about a Messiah coming, look at this part of the article again where this young man, he asked a question. He says, he asked the rabbi if he should apply for the Israeli citizenship in order to vote for the Haredi party in the Israeli elections being held on April the 9th. And notice what he said again. There is no need. And why? He said because the Messiah will already be here before the elections. So since the elections are on the 9th, and he's saying that the Messiah is going to be here on Prim, then he's saying the Messiah is coming. That's why I'm saying, get ready because you're going to see another false Christ, false prediction of Christ, and a false prophet. Now, it's obvious to me that this young man was really startled. I mean, he wanted to find out, is this what this rabbi said? Because he asked it again in that same article. And he told him again, the Messiah will be here before the elections. Now keep in mind here in this part of the article where they're talking about the Holocaust. And there are people that really didn't believe that was taking place uh, until it really did. And what we do know is that a Holocaust actually took place. I don't care how many people want to deny it. It took place. The fact of the matter is that there is going to be another repeat of that Holocaust during the tribulation period. 
When is that going to happen? Well, it's going to happen during the tribulation period when this false Christ that the Jews will accept shows up. And uh, we know by Daniel, Daniel's the Jews' prophet, he's the one that talks about this man of sin who will be coming, he'll go into that third temple that will be built, and he's going to say that he's God. And, and that's exactly in the middle of the tribulation period, three and a half years. That's when he tries to kill off as many Jews and kill off as many people as he can that will not recognize or bow down and worship him as the God. And that's at the point where the Jews flee away. That's another holocaust. They're trying to kill off a race of people, whether it be Jews or Christians, and in that case... And during the tribulation period, he's going to try to kill off anyone who doesn't worship him. Now, here's a very interesting section of this article, too, that I've talked about quite a bit, because it's talking about how Israel has sent in their air force to strike targets in Syria that are held by the Iranians. We know from Scripture in the Old Testament that Israel is going to face a war with Iran. We know that because the Lord gave us that information in Ezekiel chapter 38, how Iran is going to join forces with a lot of these other Islamic nations to try to take out the nation of Israel. However, I believe that there's going to be a war before that, and that will be the Psalm 83 war, of which the bordering nations around Israel, which Syria is one of those nations, are going to have a conflict with Israel. I think that it's possible because of the IDF going into Syria right now, striking Syria, that the conflict could spread and it could evolve into that Psalm 83 war. So there's a lot in this article that pertains to other prophecies that he's mentioning. And I believe maybe in the back of his mind that's where he's coming saying we're getting very, very close. Iran is saying they want to destroy Israel. That's also part of Bible prophecy. And so all we have to do now is sit back and watch what happens. Is Benjamin Netanyahu, the current leader of Israel, going to be reelected? Only God knows. Is the major war going to be coming before or during March the 20th or 21st? Only God knows. But I do know this, based on what Jesus Christ told us, do not expect the true Messiah on any of those dates, because only God knows when that's going to happen. That's what we are told from our Lord. So if there's another date that has been given to people, I don't care if it's a rabbi, I don't care if it's a priest, I don't care if it's a pastor, I don't care who they are. If they're giving dates... When a Messiah is going to show up, you can count on it not happening. Unless, of course, Satan does his dirty tricks and pulls one off and says, okay, that would be a good day to come. And then he could deceive all kinds of people. But those of us who know the Bible and know what Jesus Christ said, we don't expect the true Messiah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, to come until the end of the tribulation when he comes goes into Jerusalem and starts his thousand-year reign. Love to hear your comments about what I've given you today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll keep you up to date.